Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And uh, today's rather seasonal question comes from a young viewer who wants to know just what I make of Santa Claus and all the seasonal trappings this time of year. Now, it might surprise some of you to learn that, uh, despite my somewhat gruff appearance, I'm a rather ungrinchian fellow. I love the holidays. I enjoy all the, the brightness, all the colors, the coming together, and of course, the voluminous amount of sweets. And yet, for all that, one thing that does cause me some concern is how over the years the, the commercial nature of this season has required a certain amount of homogenization. Everything is packaged, everything is tied up neatly to be sold to consumers, and as such I feel we've lost some of the inherent strangeness of the holidays. I mean, just go and, and look at how Christmas truly was celebrated. Uh, the, the Christmas Carol was, was born out of the fact that this was a time of year when people would sit down around a fire and tell ghost stories to one another. Why, well, like Clement Moore's poem is practically a tale of home invasion. And if you go back to the very first Christmas story, it is an incredibly strange tale rife with such nightmares as infanticide and census taking. So yes, while I do enjoy the holidays, I do wish we could just rediscover ways to appreciate the weirdness of it all. We need more Krampus. We need more strange Victorian frogs stabbing one another. And one thing I think would help is if we returned Santa Claus to his true origin, away from uh, the, the sanitized North Pole and back to an Acropolis in Anatolia. Now that would make for some excellent Christmas cards. But however you choose to celebrate this year, and this is a year that requires some celebration, some distraction, try to discover the weirdness inside you and bring that out for all the world to see. That is truly the meaning of Christmas. And now, as we prepare for the darkest day and then the light to return, enjoy this panoply of images and a bit of song to remind you of what Christmas was and can be again. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go, take a look at the five and ten. It's glistening once again with candy canes and silver lanes that glow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store, but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A pair of hop-along boots and a pistol that shoots as the wish of Barney and Ben. Dolls that'll talk and will go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go, there's a tree in the Grand Hotel, one in the park as well.